the fact that these dysregulated transcription factors and their associated networks are the hallmark of cancer has been known for a long time. But despite that knowledge, there's a paucity of drugs that actually interfere with these. We are determined to change that. And well, first let me tell you the reason. The reason is that these transcription factors never occur in isolation. So this can be a transcription factor, but intracellularly, it's always associated with other proteins and maybe even DNA and maybe even RNA. And when you take this transcription factor out of its native context, you lo it loses the structure, it loses the function. We have a, a interesting novel screening methodology and what we do, we immobilize a library of small molecules on a solid surface. So this is what it looks like, they're attached to the solid surface. There's 250,000 different molecules. And what we do now is we treat these molecules with this complex that includes the transcription factor. And certain small molecules will bind to this protein complex. And that then allows us to ask the question, do they actually modulate the activity? So we identify primarily binders. Some of these binders might have no activity, but other binders will have a, a modulatory activity against these transcription factors. And that, of course, sets the stage for, for us to have a lead compound that modulates this transcription factor, the abnormal transcription factor, and that we, through medicinal chemistry, we, we convert into a drug candidate. So that's essentially our methodology, and this is something that is not possible to do uh, with more traditional high-throughput screening, as is very usual in the pharmaceutical industry.